channel. In this video I am going to show you a full walk around of the ST and show you everything that I have achieved with the help of a couple of friends in the last 10 weeks. That's right, it has taken only 10 weeks. Um, that's a mix of furlough, so being off for two or three of those weeks and, then, and the rest of it mainly just being me on my days off cracking on and getting on with it. So I'm going to show you now at what this car, how far it's come in the last 10 weeks and we'll see and we'll plan and hopefully we'll push forward and I'll show you again in the next 10 weeks of how far this build has come. Hopefully the next 10 weeks, after this 10 weeks, it should be nigh on complete if we carry on going at this pace. If we carry on going at this pace, it's gonna be a blooming shit hot ST. Well, that's the plan and that's what we're all hoping for. So then, I'm just gonna say it now quickly. 90% of everybody that watches my videos are not yet subscribed. Please consider subscribing and hopefully by the end of this video today, it should be warrant enough for you to punch that subscribe and punch that bell icon. Every one of you guys is appreciated. I know I always say this, but I genuinely mean it. So let me show you now everything. Well, I might miss out the odd bit. I'm just gonna put a disclaimer in there. I might miss out the odd little bit here and there of something or other on this build. But let's cast your mind back and if you want to, go back to the beginning of the Ultimate ST build. Oh, this is not the Ultimate ST, I'll put my hands up and say that, but this is mine. So anyway guys, watch and let's go. So then when I first took on the build, I was rear-ended. There was a nasty hole here, there was a, loads of scuffing around here, and the bumper wasn't even sat on straight. So since then, I've taken the bumper off, resprayed it and fitted it with all new brackets. Um, I've also had to readjust one of the reversing sensors because that one was badly damaged and same with the corner pieces, all nice and repaired. At the same time, I took off the TRC rear diffuser and sprayed it up in a custom black paint that my friend Mark gave me. I've also bought the MJ, MGC modifications rear wing. I've resprayed the end caps blue. They did come blue, but I wasn't particularly happy with the finish. Um, I resprayed this wing here in the same black as all the other bits. Every bit of blue that you point to on this car, for just so in case you guys want to look it up, is Spirit Blue as factory as it left factory Ford. All the black that you see on the car is Midnight Mini Black, Mini Cooper, so it's got flake in it. If you guys have seen the videos, you've seen the flake and you see how much it actually pops. Um, so yeah, I've done all that to the rear. It's easier if I just start off at one end and walk my way over to the other. Um, I've resprayed the roof and that's, that again is in the Midnight Mini Black. I've just got, at the moment, trial fitting the CM Composites roof scoop. And I've got, obviously I've deleted the aerial to make it sit flush. I've got um, the AirTech wide arch kit, as you saw in the previous video. I've just trial fitted that one up and it is looking sweet, may I add. At first I was a bit dubious because I could hold it against the light and see through it. Hopefully it doesn't reflect on that when I come to paint and prep it, but we'll see. I wasn't too happy with how thick it was, but it makes it light, which makes you go faster. So it serves a purpose. Now then, let me just pop the boot open briefly. Um, I've obviously resprayed my CM Composites air duct, ready for track days, and that's all ready. That's just in here just to stop it gathering dust. Oh, and the bronze paint that you see is Toyota Tiger Eye, and that is also a bronze metallic. I fitted a race bar with a net just to keep things in check. I've pinned it down. I've got my um, Summit, brute, uh, Summit boot strut brace in place, which I've also sprayed in that lovely bronze colour, which is nicely hidden and nicely tucked in out of the way. And that's all I've done on the interior at the moment, just doing bits as I go along which is good. 
I've also fitted the ZTEC spoiler, no longer got the ST one on there because I thought with that wing and that ST spoiler it'd be far too much. So I just went ZTEC. Um, it is a straight bolt on if you guys didn't already know, which is really handy. So happy days with that one. Uh, then you come down to the front. I've resprayed the mirror caps in the midnight black and I've redone the bonnet vents. They've come out nice. Okay, now then, this is where it got rather tedious rather quickly. Um, and a lot of work did go into it. I have uh, smoothed, cut, and uh, yeah, prepped in the new CM Composites um, scoop. It is meant for the, uh, what do you call it, the ITG filter, because obviously it sits underneath your light. Um, when I get five minutes, I am going to make something just to redirect it over to my filter. Um, but any extra cold air going into your cold intake, obviously it's got to help somewhere. If, even if it only helps keep the um, temps down slightly, it's done. Plus, I think it helps it look that little bit more aggressive once that wide arch kit is on, which, believe me, I'm really looking forward to getting that all nice and completed now and fitted up. You can just see there it is only trial fitted. I've also done the uh, Crew Sport grill, resprayed that. I've done the Crew Sport fog lights. Um, I've also custom sprayed the bumper. Um, it's all done at the same time and clear coated over the top so there's no nasty lip. Um, I've also done... Oh, that, 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 these have been lots of big jobs anyway. Um, uh, a few couple little bits in the engine bay. Just let me pop the hood quickly. Let's see how well this holds up with the masking tape on there. <laughs> In here, in here, time scene, big shout out. Hello boys and girls, if you're watching this, hello to you all. Same with my friend from Boosters. Right Nigel, how's it going? I know you watch these videos religiously, so uh, cheers mate. Um, so yeah, that's popped as well. I had help from um, a couple of friends to fit my new bonnet risers and get it adjusted. You can just about make out over there that they are the Ford Racing ones. You just see that silver outline. That's just to help when I go for the big turbo build. Um, the Obviously the hot, the turbo is down the back of the engine, so heat rises. And if it's got nowhere to go, it builds up. Obviously it makes your cold air intake a hot air intake, more heat in the engine bay. You know, if you can release hot air, you release hot air, hence why you've got bonnet vents. So all is looking good. And then let's have a quick gander in here. I've uh, resprayed the slam panel into that black as well, just to give it a bit of contrast. I've done my bonnet latch in the tiger eye, and I've also done my strut brace in there as well. I've also done the battery terminal into the tiger eye colour as well, just because I wanted to try and cut down some of the red that is in here. I know it was a little bit too much and very much the overpowering at some point. Um, I've replaced the ST badge on the engine cover just because I it was starting to look a little bit tired and sorry for itself. So I said, mm, let's just sort it out while I'm underneath here. So yeah, and uh, I had to buy a new battery, which I'm keeping topped up now on trickle charge, just because I need to access to the car at all times and it's just easier just to keep it ticking over. I've got it on a timer, so it's not constantly going. And that battery was sourced to me by my friends down at Unit 5 Motorsport. I also thought while I'm at it, I might as well chuck in the MSRT uh, lower grill. And at some point, Chris from CM Composites is also going to get me a new spoiler of some description. I still need to talk to him about that. Just because that, obviously, once I've gone wide, I need a new one to finish off the front. I have got the old one there, but it is bent and buckled and feeling rather sorry for itself. I don't really want to fit an old bent buckled 
Um, did I call it a spoiler? I didn't mean to say spoiler. I meant to say splitter. <clears throat> Sorry, I meant splitter. Don't really want to fit a bent and buckled splitter onto a nicely sprayed car. Yes, it's not perfect, but look at the environment we're in. You know, I'm in a, basically a barn, if you want to put it that way, a barn with a pit. But all in all, happy days. And everything you see is done by yours truly, mainly with the help from a couple of friends. But yeah. And I appreciate every single hour spent with me in here by those guys. So if you're watching, don't forget to chat thumbs up, boys. It's all appreciated. And yes, and here we are now looking back at the sides. You can see there's a couple of things missing on the sides. Yes, that'll be the wheels. The wheels are down here. <clears throat> Obviously, I've not fitted these bits here yet either. Yet again, midnight black. Looking rather special snazzy and here they are my refurbished and balanced wheels looking absolutely stunning it is yet again the tiger eye bronze metallic hence why it's tied in um obviously you guys can tell that i am going to be working on the wide arch body kit over the next uh, few weeks or god knows however long it takes um once the wide arches are done and uh, I've got my friend out to cut and weld the rear so I can bond that one on there and cut the front arch so I can bond that one on there. And then obviously once those are cut, welded, sprayed and bonded, I can fit the wheels on. And that there needs bonding on as well. Yes, I am aware of that. And then obviously there's a couple of holes down here, isn't there? a couple of holes down here so to tie in with the theme obviously it's a uh, starting to get a bit of a heavily modified car now if you are looking at it it's um, a bit less standard than uh, than your average Fiesta um, it's a bit more than just your average bolt-on car now or oh, well it will be anyway so after all that you see there is done, I am going to do something special with these. Um, I've got two colours in mind, and that is black and the bronze tiger eye, which I want to get in there. Obviously, they're going to need splitting and spraying. That's just how it's going to go. And I do have a couple of halos. They're just white ones. Um, that I'm going to integrate into them. But there'll be more of that on the episode of when I actually do this. Now coming to the underside, the underbelly of the ST. It's coming down into the pit. I doubt you'll see much, but I'm coming down here anyway, just because I can. And I fitted the... There it is. Very badly wrapped, but in heat wrap. Um... The Sicko Developments cold side intake ready for the big turbo. It does work very nicely with said big turbo. So that's going to be good. And then it's basically, after all of that, it's off to my friends at Unit 5 Motorsport for them to work their magic. I'm going to be doing AC Delete and Shim Mod in the engine. But I'm a while off getting that done. And then once the engine's been shimmed, I'm going to be looking at Turbo Technics, the S280. Once the S280's bolted on and clamped up, I'm gonna be pairing it with this one here, the AirTech tubular manifold. I know a lot of people saying that um, it, they like to split and break, but I have a feeling to believe that that one's been um, zircoated. As you can see, it's not just painted, it's textured. And we all know that that service alone is about £300. So with that aiding in the cooling, the bonnet vents aiding in the cooling, the lifters aiding in the cooling, the bigger cold side pipe aiding in the cooling, and the bigger intercooler, aiding in the cooling from AirTech, I think I'm gonna be on to a bit of a winner. Hopefully that does help it spool up. I've got a three inch exhaust system going straight from 
turbo back to leave the car, um, which makes a lovely growling noise if you've not yet seen it. I have done a Cobra versus Miltech video. Um, that's always worth a watch. And don't forget to punch thumbs up on that one just because, you know, I appreciate it, as I've always said. And yeah, this is how we are looking and leaving today's episode. So there we have it guys. This is how the cars come along in the last 10 weeks. This is what I've got planned for the future of the car. And this is exactly the sort of progress and everything that I've just been doing to it. Um, hopefully you like what you see. Hopefully it's worth you hitting that thumbs up below. And hopefully it's worth you hitting that subscribe and bell icon. If you do that, big high five and thank you very much. And I will see you all, hopefully, in the next episode. Cheers, guys. Bye.